Now we're into stuff that's a little bit faster. Although it has algebra terms, it's actually going to be a little bit easier when we first start out. What we're trying to do here is be able to reduce algebraic fractions that have already been factored. So when we start out, we're looking at, uh, it's very similar to that last page when we were simplifying things by breaking it down into factors. If we look at this very first problem here, on top we have a full k plus 3, and on the bottom we have a k plus 3 group as well. Now we also have a k minus 1 group there. If we were to say, hey, look, these cancel or these reduce to 1, we could replace each of them with a 1. We could divide them out since we're just simplifying a fraction, leaving us with on top a 1 and on bottom a k minus 1. This would be our simplified algebraic fraction. So this is how we'd simplify that fraction. Now we're also asked to state the excluded values. Now the excluded values are the values that would make this problem not work. And if we look at our final answer here, we would say, oh, if we plugged a 1 in for k, that would cause problems because then we'd have a 0 in the denominator. But you don't look at the simplified one to decide what are all your excluded values. You look at the original problem way back here. So to determine your excluded values, you say, what could I plug into anything in my denominator to cause it to go to 0? So in this one here, the k plus 3, if we plugged in a negative 3, that would be uh, cause a problem. If we plugged in a 1 here, that would cause a problem. We'd have zeros in the denominator and you can't divide by 0. Even though in this problem here, the negative 3 doesn't show up as an issue, uh, there's something called holes in your graph. So if you were to draw this graph, there'd be a little tiny blip at negative 3, and that's something that we need to watch out for. So that's what we're dealing with in here. Uh, one more example of one that uh, we could go over real quick would be looking at this one right here, number 9. On top and bottom, we see that we have an x minus 3 and an x minus 3. So that entire group, I can cancel out one of them down to 0, or down to 1, reduce it down to 1. You'll notice that I also have an x plus 10 and a 2x and an x minus 3 all remaining. I cannot, cannot cross out these x's like this. That is not uh, something that will work with division. And the reason is, is that there's this plus sign up here. You're essentially uh, not properly distributing through um, when you do that. So you can only cancel out entire multiplied groups. So groups that are set, a, set aside, set apart in parentheses that are completely identical, like the x minus 3 and x minus 3 were. Those you're allowed to uh, completely cancel out, completely reduce down to 1. However, anything else has to be identical top to bottom. So our final answer here is actually going to be x plus 10 over 2x x minus 3. And that's where we're going to stop. Again, we still need to do our excluded values. And if we look at this x kind of out by itself, we could plug in a 0 there and cause the whole denominator to go to 0. So 0 is going to be an excluded value. We could plug in a 3 here, and then 3 minus 3 would go to 0. So that would cause it to be an excluded value. And on this one, in our original problem, we could plug in a 3. Now, we don't need to repeat it. We don't need to say 3 twice. So our excluded values are going to be 0 and 3. So good luck uh, factoring these out. Just remember, entire groups have to be exactly identical for them to cancel out.